Hey guys, welcome to the Mr. Maple Show. I'm Matt. We've got a great conifer on the table for you here today. We love doing these breakdowns of specific cultivars here on the Collector's Corner. So definitely stick around here on the Mr. Maple Show. Hey guys, I'm Tim. We're the brothers of MrMaple.com. We're a small family business, a mail order nursery that ships directly to your door. We do over a thousand varieties of Japanese maples and other neat, cool, interesting, rare plants. So go to MrMaple.com, check us out. We add at least 10 new plants every single Tuesday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you better be there at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Tuesdays. Yeah, we do a ton of fun plants, guys, and we love to talk about them here on the Mr. Maple Show. So definitely check out our full catalog here. We put out videos seven days a week, so there's always something new and fresh. Today we're talking about one of our favorite dwarf conifers. This one is the Sienna Sunset. Also known as Anique, this plant is amazing. It's one of those plants you'll see everybody go up and touch. Yeah, you like can't help but touch some of these. Yeah, it's one of those plants you put in your garden, everybody has to go up and touch it. It's a great container plant. I mean, this is a dwarf eastern white cedar, also known as an arborvitae. I mean, this is a really cool plant. As for an evergreen, it keeps giving you tons of colors. Yeah, this one is gonna be kind of a, a light yellow to green in the spring and summer. It really fades to more of a yellow to orange in the winter months. As you can see right now, they're more in that bronzy orange stage. This one gives the appearance of a sunset. It is a colorful, small plant, and I think it's one of the perfect container plants. Like this one, because of its small stature and rounded globe shape, it looks great in a pot. This works excellent as a topper for a decorative patio pot or as a small area container. Now, I love this plant. My favorite time of the season for this is in that early spring. That yellow green color it has with that new growth, mm -hmm. it just makes it have a really lively feel. And it's so unusual and so different because it does go to this orange bronze during the winter. When you start seeing that new growth pop off of it in the early spring, mm -hmm. it grabs your attention. I mean, that colorful uh, effect that it has, it's just outstanding. That's my favorite time of the season for it. And when it's that time of the season too, I mean, it's, it's so attractive in a container or out in the landscape. This is a newer selection though. It's gonna get uh, about two to three feet tall by about two to three feet wide in 10 years. In the ground, this is a conifer that can go down to zone two. Mm -hmm. We're talking negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit. That's pretty cold. So it's a zone two through seven. I mean, for conifers, this plant is extremely hardy. It's a great companion plant to your Japanese maples. But overall, I mean, this is a plant that many people can grow. Yeah, this one works equally as well in the ground and it's gonna provide a ton of color. Now, I like to put this in the dwarf conifer garden. It also pairs greatly, like Tim was saying, with Japanese maples. This one has such a small stature, it's really gonna work good wherever you put it. Now, that small round shape is maintained even as this tree matures. So as the tree gets larger, you keep a nice small ball. And that's really what people like about this one. That's why when people see this one in person, it really sells out. Uh, it's popular on the website, but when we're doing open hours or our employees are looking at this one, it's one that's always popular. It's got that Chia Pet It factor. It's got that Makawi Etsubusa thing where it feels like a plant that you talk to and interact with. Uh, and so it definitely has that character personality with it. Uh, it's a fun tree no matter what season you're looking at. And named for those beautiful sunsets in Siena, Italy. Now, this is a plant too. You may look at this and think that we've trimmed each and every branch on this to get this perfect. And we have. We have a small hedge pruner and we go through and maintain every single one of these every week. <laughs> no, he's completely being sarcastic. This plant does this awesome shape all by itself. So it's a good maintenance free plant for the landscape. Gives you a perfect shape out there without much work. You want to make sure you give it good drainage being it's a conifer, whether it's in a container or in the ground. But this is a plant that's going to shine in your garden. You can put it in the barbershop chair and just cut the <laughs> hair. <laughs> it feels like a haircut, though. It feels like something you should put some sunglasses on. It's got a lot of personality to it. I love this plant. Uh, it's definitely one that I would say the kids like because it feels like something you interact with. Uh, it definitely has that it factor for something that, that feels a little bit more mobile in the garden, even though it's a plant. I hope you've enjoyed today's video on Thuga oxyzentalis. Anique, also known as Sienna Sunset. Guys, this one doesn't tend to stick around long on Mr. Maple, so if you're watching this video and it's sold out, you can sign up on our website to get notified when we have this one back in stock. We're always working to get this one back in stock because it's very popular for us for good reason. Now this again is the most bronze orange stage. We're shooting this in late winter. If you see this one in early spring, like Tim was saying, bright chartreuse greens and yellows, it's colorful in every single season, but it really is a unique piece in the garden. I think my favorite way to grow this one is in the big container, like in a small patio pot or planter. I think it really shines. Yeah, and I think this is a plant that's easy for people to grow. Gives them a lot of good color contrast. 
What, what more can you ask for a conifer? We really appreciate you all watching. Take care. God bless. And have an awesome day.